We are just about to go for lunch with the boys. We picked up our fishing licenses and the premier. What? Oh, yeah. What are you looking at me like that for? Because you're crazy. Why am I crazy? We're going to be crazy. 39 <laughs> hours crazy. Yeah. So we got a long week ahead of us. Lots of fishing. Lots of 39 hour stuff. Lots of go time. Yep. We're just at the premier. Ah! Sean and them, and my wife hey, back there. I have a question. Uh, who, who has more world records? Oh, that would be me, definitely. Okay, raise your hand. Raise your hand. If you wait, have wait, wait. This guy right here has a world record. Here's Eric. Yeah. Thirty-eight inch brown trout world record. Oh, yeah. We were pretty close. Well, Sean was, but we're just gonna start the show. So we do this. Tonight is the night that Team Acme can finally crack the code. I know that they're after them again because I was given a sneak peek of a tiny portion of the episode. We don't know who won yet. Only Nick Entz knows who won. We have one minute. Ah, uh, this is gonna be tough. What's a master in the rock bass side? 10 inches. You win, there you go. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to, uh, I guess, dim the lights and everybody get ready because we are starting in one minute. Immediately following will be more question and answer, many more prizes, including an Aquaview Mini. Well, we were going for down. trophies. If you go out to Saskatchewan, um, you know, we were just kind of etching out the species we needed to target. And we, we knew that the species we had to go for, we had to catch the trophies to get those points, you know. So we gave it everything. And just want to say uh, to my brother. He does hold a few world records that I used Sorry, to hold. Which is which is which? No, I still don't know. My bad, my bad. Okay, okay. This is my brother Sean, and I did teach him everything he knows. I am a little older than him, so he does hold the world records, but I'm his guide, so. Um, I'd like to thank all of you people for making this happen. This is because incredible. This, 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 is this absolutely would have happened with you guys. Everyone watching, commenting, thank you so much. Um, as you see, my mind was blown up catching that brown trout and that lake trout. Um, just glad that those fish can show Lucky up for bites, you guys. <laughs> so, I was driving you into those fish. <laughs> and, and the cameraman, our cameraman's here. Um, the other one's Marcel. Here, Marcel. And I love you. You stuck it up four days with us, buddy. And uh, yeah, just, just big thanks to everyone involved. Like. It, it was awesome, and also, like, there's so many highs and so many lows, and I think Adam and I hit every one of those this last season. Uh, the last episode looked pretty grim there, but we uh, pulled through and we tried to come back there, and we just ran out of time, so, you know, pass the mic, or you got a mic? Oh, we got a mic. So, yeah, so we kind of just uh, played around with the idea a little bit, and John... John is just a guy, he's a friend, and he fishes up there a few times. So basically this is how it went down. Three days before 39 hours start, I was texting John. I said, so what's going on? He said, well, there's probably a 30% chance we're gonna make it up there. And I said, okay, well, make sure you have plan B and plan C. So the day before, 50% chance. I'm like, John, this is not looking good. <laughs> so it was the morning of the, well, the day before, when we left, the two days before, he said, this is happening. So we yeah, got on the plane, got up there, and then we, we were about to land. He said, pack light, so we pack light. We're about to land, and, he, and I'm going, hey, what, what are we going to eat? And he's like, well, I don't know. And he's like, what do you mean we don't know? I don't know. We didn't really pack food. I'm like, well, what do you mean? And, and we're not, like, we just housed in a, it was like a shack, actually, and there was actually a tent on it. Yeah, the lodge didn't even know we were coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, so John, John's friends with the previous owner of the lodge, so we were going up with them, but the lodge is owned by uh, Crystal Lodge, so, so yeah. Anyway, we, long, long story short, we ate fish for breakfast, lunch, and supper. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fish. So that's kind of the story. We were not guided up there. We, Sean and I had to find our own spots. John came um, with me on the boat, Creefish, and Sean and the cameraman were in the other boat, and we had to find our own spots, and it didn't take long. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it does up there. Lots of big fish up there. there. Yeah, lots of big fish. You just, you know, they're, they're all over the place scattered. You just have to use a few big techniques and, I don't know, get lucky, I guess. <laughs> that's the story of the brain. Oh, 
And on the way from Free Lake to Nippon, there was like 50, 60 click wins, so we all got motion sickness. <laughs> Poor Marcel. Marcel was looking the worst out of all of us. <laughs> so that was pretty rough, but we made it safe. Can we, uh, can we cue the Alex video clip? Just walking into some random house here in Winnipeg. Getting ready for fishing. No, but like he's like, he'll be like, da, da, you know, even better. The first thing I see is some bacon. Hey guys. Bacon. Bacon. Thanks for the bacon, guys. Amazing. The most Sean, Alex is the sorry, but I'm eating one your one bacon for you. Alex is known in this part. First day of Lake Winnipeg. We are getting ready, waiting for all the boys. Icebound excursions. We got three snow bears today. Got the name right. I always get the name you wrong. You get the Ice name wrong, buddy. Excursions. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, for making this happen. This is going to be epic. Some big fish going down and big fish in trouble. Look who showed up. <laughs> it's the crew. Hey, yeah, yeah boys. Are we fishing for pickerel today? Fishing for walleye. All right. Almost ready here. We just need a couple more people to show up. Oh yeah. Is one of those last guys Taro? Taro's not allowed to drive. What's his list? He's got a list of yeah, things he cannot do. The lawyer drew up an extra long uh, waiver for us. So. <laughs> All right. Just getting ready to rock and roll. Taro, get away from me. You're like a leech. I'm like a stain on your drawers. No, I don't think so. Eric and Eric and Jay and of course Aaron's late. He's always late. That's okay. We love you, Aaron. We have the new 39 hour champion, Aaron Weeb. Showing up. Late. We have the new 39 hours champion, Aaron Weeb, showing up. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Leave me alone. Here he comes. We're getting ready to go. Look at his glasses. Thinks he's like cool. You gonna drive us there safely? No. Nope. We're crashing through everything. All right. Wind is ripping. We have set up our snow bears. Sean and I are. Being man, manly man, fishing outside. We're gonna try to find the fish. So there's a fish coming in right there. It looks like a fish. Maybe it's a burbot. Sure, it's not a minnow. Got pinched. I think he's way over here now. Oh, it's crap. Oh, oh, I got my first bourbon. My first bourbon ever! <laughs> I've literally never caught a bourbon in my life. That's my first bourbon. It's my biggest bourbon. And Is that's that the bigger most... than 14 inches? I'm telling you right now, I'm that's so excited. The... You guys from Manitoba are so lucky. You guys can have your greenbacks because I just caught my first bourbon. I'm Boom. so excited. That is that is more exciting to me than a 30, if it's even possible, 5-inch greenback. Is that a possibility? <laughs> bourbon! Yeah! <laughs> that fish out him. What full, do you do? Full concentration mode. What do you do? It's going back down. Yeah. Trying to work this fish. See if we can get him. Hi. Hello. Probably a two pounder. Oh yeah. Catch that fish. Come on. <clears throat> We've relocated. About two feet deeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty flat out here on Lake Winnipeg. Marking lots of fish, but they're just not committing. And Sean missed her. couple bites. Sean missed her only bites. That did it. Oh, I... Hi, Sean. <sighs> you look great. Thanks, buddy. After we got decimated in our 39 hours. 39 hours you yesterday. Get decimated, you made a good comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're marking a fish here, so see if we get it to commit. Cool little snow bear we're in. We don't even have to get out. Out there, Adam. This is my first greenback. On the rattle bait. 
We just moved to a new uh, spot. I missed three. Adam hooks his first bite. Look at him all crazy. He's like, oh, oh I'm so yeah. hurting. Caught lots of fish today, like one. <laughs> Paul got a 29. We're gonna try to figure out how to get that photo in. It's actually 29 and three quarters. No, no. 29 and one eighth. <laughs> hey, Jay. Day. Got everybody? It's a good oh, day. Okay. What do you want, guys? I, I thought you'd do it. Just talking. Do whatever. All right, here we go. So our first big one of the trip. This is 29 three quarter inch Lake Winnipeg green back walleye. Is this a master angler? That is a master. This is my first master angler. Right here, guys. Thank guys, thank you so much, Ryan. Amazing coach. Thank you so much, man behind the camera. There made this happen. I think it's time for this beast. That's a 10 pound walleye all day. See ya. Yes! Yeah! That was amazing! Yay! Thanks guys, Ryan. Nice job. Thank you guys. Amazing. Where'd Alex go? Bedtime. Are those greenbacks, Sean? Oh, we're slabbing some up, boys. We're gonna eat some good walleye tonight. We found we're lacking it. in a knife, but we're gonna make do. We found it on the ground. But if you're a professional fisherman, you should be able to clean a fish with anything you find. The drone, filming the drone. Oh man, I love you. That's Eric for you. Amazing guy there. We got out here a bit earlier today. All the groups are kind of within each other here. Hey, we're just setting up. Gonna be rip jigging in the morning bite. See if we get some big ones. Probably hunker down in one spot all day and just chill, wait for a bite. Good old Lake Winnipeg. Hi guys. Bop, bop, burst green back. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> That guy was three feet under three the ice. Three feet under the ice. Oh, wow. Reeled up to him and smacked it. Cool. We're going to have a fish Friday night with the boys. Yeah, let's yeah. go, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find my hook. I'm that's, laying down. That's the hook. Caught my first green back. Dynamite. Lazy. So tired. Aaron did not get me coffee this morning. It's terrible. Shame on you. I'm going to be tired all day. The other guys are there making some lunch. Good job fishing. Got some ice ridges in the back of us. Sean caught his last walleye three feet under the ice. And we're just about to have short lunch here. Well, I am taking off. Sean's gonna be sticking around, so maybe he'll get some more footage with that for us. Yeah. It's bright out here. I forgot my shades today. I'm dying. We got the crew all here, except Taro. Taro's being a uh, stuck in a snow bear all day. Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, we'll see if Sean could catch us some more fish for a video. But yeah. I'm taking off, so we'll do a, another ending, a double ending. All right.